Happy Saturday, everybody. All right, so um, as you guys know, today's class is our um, free class on Saturday, so everything is by the way. It's a little bit shorter class, it's about 35 minutes. Um, so let's go ahead and start getting warmed up. Uh, at the top of your mat, go ahead and get those heels up and back, front in place. Um, so these classes on Saturday are in partnership with Hillier Recreation and Parks. Um, we distribute one workout a week to them to keep the community active and involved. Um, so that's a kind of a part of that healthy Hillier campaign that we are doing uh, during this quarantine. So let's go ahead and take it to some jumping jacks. You can always take it down. If you want to take out any jumping, we will show modifications all throughout class today. Let's start to loosen up the legs. Squat down and up. Sit that butt back and down. Weights in those heels for three. Two, one. Now I want you to take it to an alternating front lunge and then take it backwards into a reverse lunge on just that right leg. We're going to go three each direction on the right and then we're going to switch to that left side. All right, let's switch legs. Plant that right foot, left leg step, front, then back behind you. Two more good ones. <laughs> Last one here. Awesome. Go ahead and just bend at the hips. Touch your toes, and from here, it's going to set us up for a toe thumb squat. So reach for your toes, we squat down and up. All right, so lengthen through the legs for three, two, and one. And turn forward into an upper plank, hold it here, and let's take it to a tricep push up. Then we walk our hands wide to a regular push up. So we're going here, then wide in your grip, and then here. So going in. And now for those push-ups, two different muscle groups with that wide and narrow push-up. One more good one. Last one, narrow and tight. Step it up in the air, downward dog. Stretch out those heels, cuddle them out a little bit here. Take that right leg through. While you're here, we're going to toe tap it out. Five reps for five, four. Three, two, and one. Switch leg, left leg forward. Get that stretch to start. And then we're going to tap it out again. Here we go. For five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bring it back to standing. Run in place. And we're going to talk about how we're going to kick off class. So sometimes we throw in these group starters or finishers um, at check. So we like to throw in little challenges just to get that heart rate up to either kick off class. Um, with a good burner, we'll end class that way. We're going to start out class that way today. So it's a 90 second starter. We're going to do 30 seconds of three different cardio moves to get the heart rate up. This first move is a broad jump to a burpee and then you inchworm back to your feet. All right, so broad jump, burpee, inchworm back. 30 seconds of that move. We're getting ready to get rolling. So go to the end of your mat, the base of your mat. And we're going to get going here in four, three, two, let's hit it. So we got it. broad jump, burpee, and then in turn back. 30 seconds of this move. We are already 10 seconds in. These 30 seconds go quick. You might only get three to four of those combos in. Last 10 seconds, guys. Next up, coming up, we've got squat jacks to the top of your mat. I'm going to show you a demo. We're starting in four, three, two, one. Join me here. So you jack out wide, wider than your mat, then jack backwards. All right, your option, you can always squat step if this jump is too much. You've got 15 more seconds. Next move, we're going to take it to the floor for some upper body. We've got cross body mountain climbers. In five, four, three, two, and one. So crisscross those knees side to side. 30 seconds of these cross body mountain climbers. Nice job, guys. Final 20. You've got it halfway there. 15 more seconds. Final 10. Waking up the core here and your shoulders for five, four, three, two, and release. Nice job. Nice simple water if you need it. And we're going to get rolling here. All right. 
So next up, our first four four. We're going to see three minute rounds today. Um, everything is going to be built on 50 10. So that's 50 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Our first move, we've got three toe taps on that right leg. So right leg is going to be planted, left leg taps back three times. Then you have a straight leg deadlift. So three toe taps, hinge at the floor, touch barely, and then bring it back up. So three, two, one, then we slow it down, toe through. Tap the floor and come back up. One leg. We're going to get started here. In four, three, two, let's go. Right leg plants. We tap for three, two, one. Deadlift slow one time. Then bring it up. Three, two, one. Deadlift really slow and take your hips and bring it back through. Three, two, one. So you feel this right away in that hamstring and in that quad. You're halfway through already. 25 seconds in. You've got 25 to go. Sitting low. Put all that weight into that right side. You've got 15 more seconds on this leg. Final 10 here. Awesome. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Take 10 seconds to shake it out. Next up, we've got Squat jacks like we just saw for 25 seconds, then a skinny squat pulse. In three, two, one. So I'm facing you. We squat, jack up. So we saw this in warm up, each bird in the starter. Each move that we saw in the starter is weaved into class today. So you'll see all three of those combos again. You've got 10 more seconds, then we are going to pulse it out, fire up the legs. Last five. Three, two, one. Let's go narrow, pulse, pulse. 25 seconds, get that burn. And then we'll switch to the left leg with those toe taps in that deadlift. You've got 15 more seconds, pulse. Nice job, guys. Last 10. Stay real low for five, four, three, two. Check it out. Nice job. Switching legs this time. Left leg is planted, right leg taps back. We're going in four, three, two, let's hit it. Three, two, one, dead lift. Slow, touch the floor, bring it back for three, two, one, take it slow. Hinge the hips. Notice, I'm moving really low and control with both moves. I never fully stand up. That puts all the weight into that left leg. Add that burn. You're halfway there. 25 more seconds. Nice shot, guys. Final 15 here. Awesome work. You got less than 10 seconds. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Take a breather. Nice job. All right, next up, we're going to go lateral shuffle side to side. So you'll notice every other round, we get that heart rate up. Let's go left to right. Touch the floor. Quick. Stay really low. Bend in the legs. We want to use these 50 second intervals to fire up the heart rate real quick. Then we'll bring it down on a strength walk. Nice job, guys. Final five seconds. Then we go back to that squat pulse, but wide this time. In three, two, one, wide, pulse, pulse. Nice job. So we break up that 50 seconds in a 25, 25, then a 10 second rest. So on that 25 seconds of cardio, I want to challenge you to go all out. You've got less than 10. Push those knees out for five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job. We go back to strength. Back to that right leg with those toe taps and that deadlift one more time. In three, two, one. Let's hit it right side again. Three, two, one. So second set of each of these moves. You know where you're going. Four minutes in. We got four minutes to go in this circuit. 
Taking your time here, straighten through that right leg on that deadlift, barely touching those fingertips to the floor. That's just to help you keep your balance. All right, so it should be barely touching so you can feel that burn down your hamstring and those calf muscles. You got 15 more seconds. Final 10, you guys push. We got five, three, two, and one, take a breather. Next up, we got those squat jacks up the mat. Or we have those squat jacks, center of the mat doesn't need to be up the mat. And then that's quick skinny squat pulse. In three, two, one, low, pop up quick, really quick here. Again, 25 seconds, all out. Try not to break on this one. Again, if you need to, you can step side to side. You can always take out that jump. We've got 10 seconds, push to the end here. Skinny squat pulse coming up in five, three, two, one, legs in, pulse, pulse. Knees and toes and ankles come together here. Everything skinny. 15 seconds. Whew, burns. Nice work guys, final 10. We've got five, four, Three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, switching on to that left leg. So left leg's planted, right leg toe taps back. We're starting in five. Nice work, guys. Just two minutes left. Three, two, one. Let's hit it. Three, two, one. Dead lift. Bend. Touch the floor. Bring it up. Low. Three, two, one. Okay, get your hips. Pull that belly button tight to support that lower back on this one. Even though we don't have weight, we still want good posture and good form so that when you add weight, your foundation is set up properly. You've got 25 more seconds. Nice work, guys. Keep pushing through. You've got 15 seconds. Final 10 here. Try to get maybe one more combo. Take it slow. We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. One more minute left. We've got that lateral shuffle side to side, then a wide squat pulse. Changing your stance. In three, two, one. Start up low. Let's go. All out. Come on. Side to side, fast as you can. This takes us back to glory days of high school sports. Really push. You got 10 seconds. Come on. Everybody work. Nice job out there. We got five, four, three, two, wide. Let's go. Pulse, pulse. Knees and toes go out. Let's get those inner thighs. Nice shot, guys. Whew. Awesome work. Bring that heart rate down. Fire up the legs. You got 10 seconds. Awesome job. Push, push. You've got five, four, three, two. Grab a sip of water. Nice first eight minute block here. You have a one minute transition. So the clock is on for 60 seconds. Grab a sip of water. And when you are ready, bust out five jump lunges. Double counts over here. Five breaths. Three, two, and one. Nice shot. You've got the rest of the break to recover. Awesome work. You got five in. You got about 20 seconds to start that next round. So we're going to move to some upper body. Um, so what we saw in warm up, that wide push up to a narrow push up, we're going to see in this round. All right, you don't need to jump your hands, just walk them in and out. And I think it helps to have your feet wide. So have your stance wide on this one so that your foundation is set even when those arms are moving. All right, it helps keep your hips in line. Okay, so we're going to go wide to narrow. Still on that 50 10. We're starting in four, three, two, one. So totally up to you if you start wide or narrow. Your call here. Make sure on that narrow push up, your elbows are right by your side. So we work on the triceps. Your option, you can always take it to your knees and just step those hands in and out. Take it slow here. You're already 25 seconds in. You got 25 seconds left here. Focus on good form 
We don't want to rush through this one. Final 15 seconds. Nice shot, back in that turn left. Finish it out in five, four, three, two, and release it. Nice job. All right, next up, we've got that broad jump, burpee, reverse intro arm. We saw that in warm up. In four, three, two, one. Let's go. Broad jump, burpee, reverse intro arm. We saw this during that starter. All right, take it slow. And turn back. We're already 15 seconds in, guys. Awesome job. You're halfway there. Last 25 seconds. Halfway through. You're in your final 20. Keep pushing here. Last 10 seconds. Get one more good one at least. Finish it out in five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. All right, next move. You've got plank position, and we are just gonna jump those feet to the right, to the center, left, center. All right, so you're jumping your feet, right, center, left, center. 25 seconds, then we plank for 25. All right, so we'll all have for those 25. In four, three, two, let's hit it. Come on, right, center, left, center. Jumping those feet, side to side. Use your core to twist. Ten more seconds till that plank. Push, guys. Final five, four, three, two, plank it out. Hold it, 25. Nice job. Woo. Fifteen seconds here. Final ten. Pull that belly button tight. Everything's locked in. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Next move. We haven't seen this one in a while. You're kind of in that surfboard position. So wide up your feet like a zero. We squat down, knee up, squat down, twist, squat, knee raise, and up. All right, so I'm going to walk you through this one. We're on for a full 50 seconds. We're going in for three, two, let's go. So wide stance, squat, knee, squat, and twist. Driving that knee up, working those obliques and those legs. Squat. Knee up, squat, 180. Add that combo. Take your time to get that movement down. Nice job, guys. We're over the halfway point. You've got 20 seconds. Final 15. Burn it out here. You've got 10 more seconds. We've got five. Four, three, two, and rest. Four minutes in, we go back to the top. Wide and narrow push-ups coming up here. Starting in about seven seconds. Here we go. In four, three, two, let's go. Wide, walk it in, and narrow. See each one of those moves again. Nice job, guys. Already 20 seconds in. You've got 30 left. As you start to tire out, refocus your form, take your modifications as you need to. You can come to your knees or the next level. You can even come back here and take a reverse tricep push up, take it wide, and take a lot of the load off that upper body. You have plenty of options. Final 10 seconds. We've got five. Three, two, and one. Take ten. Stand it up. We go back to that broad jump. Burpee. Reverse inch one. Starting in four. Three, two. Let's go. Broad jump. Burpee. Reverse inch one. 
Bring that heart rate up on this one, guys. Really push for that full 50 seconds. You're ready about 20 in. You've got 30 to go. Halfway there. Nice job, guys. Final 20 seconds. Awesome job. Final 10 here. One or two more. We've got five. Last three, two, and release. Awesome. Woo. Take a breather. All right, next cardio move. We jump right, center, left, and center. Side to side. Going in five. Just 25 seconds here. In three, two, one, let's go. Right, center, left, center, side to side. Twist through your hips. Push, guys, 12 seconds. Final five, four, three, two, one. Hold it, breathe. Pull that belly button in. Control your breath here. Nice shot, guys. Final 15. You've got 10 seconds. Awesome job. We got one more move on deck. Take a break in four, three, two, and rest. We've got that surfer with that knee crunch and that twist. All right, twisting surfer. Coming up in four. Three, two, let's go. Wide stance, we squat, knee up, squat, 180. All right, so I'm gonna take it slow so you guys can kind of see me break down the moves. As you get the hang of it, speed it up. Squat, knee, squat, 180. Let's go, fire it up. You've got 30 seconds. Nice job, guys, push. Last 20, you over halfway through, finish it out. Last 10 seconds, see if you get two more combos in. For two, we got that for one more, and one. Nice job, take a rest. Whew. We got one minute, in one minute, remember, you gotta knock out those five jump lunges on your own time. And then take a rest. All right, I'm gonna knock mine out, five reps. Once you knock out five, take a breather. We got about 30 seconds left. One more eight minute block, then we'll get to abs. So we're gonna start on our back side on the floor. We've got three raises to start. All right, so these blue raises. We're gonna bend our right leg. Left leg is gonna go straight up in the air. All right, single leg blue raises. We're starting in five. So right leg is bent on the mat, left leg is up. We're going in four, three, two, let's hit it. So left leg, notice my foot is flexed. All right, I'm gonna try to put a footprint on the ceiling. And just do what you can here in terms of range of motion. Just trying to raise those hips off the floor. You got 30 more seconds on this right side. Feel that burn. Last 20 seconds here, guys. Push. You got 15 to go. Final 10, we've got five, four, three, two, take a 10 second rest, nice job, we're gonna switch legs, left leg is planted, right leg goes up in the air, starting in five, three, two, one, let's go, up and down. Heavy on the glutes this round, and the back of the legs. Really squeeze here. Remember, again, as you start to lose focus, dial into that one leg. Flex your foot. Try to keep that knee just slightly bent. 
You're halfway there, 25 more seconds. This is a great option from home if you want to add a weight um, across your hips or if you have ankle weights or bands. This is a great exercise that you can do on your own at home with or without weights. You've got five more seconds. Last four, three, two, and release. We're gonna bring this to the standing position. You've got a double pulse cat raise. All right, so what we're gonna do is a double squat pulse, then we're gonna raise up into that cat raise. In three, two, one, so sit low. Double pulse squat, cat raise. Double pulse, cat raise. All right, so fire up your quads, but then also engaging those calves. Really squeeze everything you got when you come up into that cat raise. Hold it for one to two seconds, then release. You've got 30 more seconds here. Nice job, guys. Really control. All right, since we don't have weight, we want to add these pulses to add some extra resistance with that body weight. You've got 15 more seconds. Squeeze everything you got in that calf raise. Lock it in. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. Nice job. Last move. Look where we're going to second set each of that. Come down to a tabletop position. All right, so you're on all fours. We're going to hover our knees about two inches off the ground. We're going to just tap those knees really lightly to the floor. All right, so you're here, tabletop. Let's go in three, two, one. So we just tap those knees, bring it up, barely tapping. All right, you should not be putting weight really on the floor. Put all that weight into those quads with that hover. So again, same thing, squeezing everything in tight to add that resistance. Belly is in tight, back is engaged. So you'll notice, you not only feel this in your legs, we've also activated our core, the shoulders, those forearms, the great total body exercise. You've got 15 more seconds. Really slow and controlled here. Last 10. We're gonna hold it for 10 seconds in that hover in five, four, Three, two, now hold it. Hop your those knees, two inches off the ground. 10 seconds. For five, four, three, two, one. Release, nice shot. All right, we're going back to the top. Back to that one leg glute glute raise on our back side. So right leg is planted, left leg goes up. We start in four, three, two, one. Let's go. Under five minutes left to class, guys. Four minutes left in this block of work. We'll hit a quick circuit of abs and get you guys out of here to enjoy your Saturday. Beautiful day today. We have started up on the right foot, get a movement for 30 to 40 minutes. You've got 25 more seconds here. Again, flexing that left leg, pushing off your right heel. So you make sure you can wiggle your right toes. That's a quick check that that weight is in your heels. You've got 15 more seconds here. Final 10. We've got five, four, three, two, and shake it out. 10 seconds off here. We got that left leg. Right leg is up. We're on in three, two, one. Let's go. Last 50 seconds of these blue raises on your back side. Again, footprint on your ceiling, right leg is flexed, and you're driving those hips up as hard as you can off the floor. If this becomes too much on just one leg, put both legs on the floor and drive up with both legs. All right, that's still a great option. You've got 20 more seconds. Final 15. You've got five, four, three, two, and release. Nice job. Two more moves. We're standing up in that double pulse squat into that cat raise, starting at five seconds. Here we go. Three, two, one. So we go double pulse, cat raise, 
squeezing on that calf raise. Notice my range of motion on that squat. We come all the way down. All right, really bend through the knees. Nice job, guys. 20 seconds in. We've got 30 seconds to go here. Final 20. Nice work on this one, guys. 15 more seconds. Now we just got one more lower body exercise, and we'll start to lead in some abs. You've got five, four, three, two, and one. We're going to come down for that tabletop knee tap. All right, starting in seven seconds. Here we go. We're going in five, four, three, two, and one. Let's go. We're on. Knee tap down and up. Squeeze that belly button in tight. Again, you're not resting those knees on the floor. We barely want to tap to fire up those quads. And then when we got that hold at the end of this minute, you've got 30 more seconds of these taps. Less than 40 seconds to work here. Nice job today. Last 20 seconds. Then we got that hold. And we'll work through the abs. Right into it, guys. Nice work. We're almost at 35 minutes of class. We're in the home stretch. Final 10 seconds. And then we've got that hold coming up in five, four, three, two, one. Hover those knees, hold everything in tight. 10 seconds. Remember to breathe here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. We've got three, two, one. Nice job. Go ahead and grab some water. Take a quick breather. And then we are going to finish the standing ab series. So our ab work, um, we're going to go three minutes of abs. We've got three moves similar to our starter, but we're going to do 30 seconds of each. Um, so it's going to be the same three moves consecutively for three minutes. We're going to hit the obliques heavy today. All right, so what we're going to do, standing side crunch. If you need to hold on to a railing, a chair, that's really up to you. We're going to hold on to your hip. So we're going to go right knee, right elbow for 30 seconds. Next squat, we're going to sit low in this create squat, and we're going to hit side to side, knee to elbow, here. Then we'll do the left side of that standing side crunch. All right, so every 30 seconds, we'll call it out. Those are your three moves, and we're going to go for 30 minutes straight. All right, we're going in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. So stand up tall, in your here, knee to elbow. Try to crunch through, really dig into those obliques, and this doesn't need to be quick. All right, you can be slow and controlled. And remember, if you need a counter or something to hold on to, you can always hold on to a stairwell, uh, railing, counter, chair, whatever you got. We've got 10 more seconds. Then we're gonna go to, go to the other side in five, three, two, one. Other leg, knee to elbow. Really twist. Through that opening, try to get the knee up over the hip. Another great move if you have ankle weights or hand weights, you can always add those to this, or a light weight if you want a little extra than body weight. Great move to do at home. Five more seconds, and we're going to sit low in a plie squat and crunch side to side in three, two, one. So sit low, then we bend here and here. So stopping center to reset. And then we crunch down. This will take us to that 90 second mark. Then we got one more set to make it three minutes of abs. Nice shot. We've got 10 more seconds here. Then we're gonna go back to that right arm, right leg. In five, four, three, two, stand it up. We go right knee, right elbow. Let's go. Last time on this side. We got 90 seconds left to class, and then you guys are out of here. Nice work today, guys. I think these 35 minute burners are proof that body weight can still be very effective. You got 10 more seconds, then we're gonna switch sides. Take into that left side in three, two, one. Let's go. Left arm, left knee. 
Last minute of work here, guys. Just two more moves. And again, Monday through Friday, we do these classes on Zoom. Still at 8 a.m. Monday through Friday. Um, they are with weights during the week. If you have any questions on those classes or how to sign up for those, um, shoot me an email. Um, or you can always DM us on Instagram or Facebook, and we'll get in touch with you. Let's bring it down to that plie squat and bend. Side to side. And again, once a week, um, we are a part of the Hilliard Recreation and Parks Healthy Hilliard Campaign. So they feature a body weight exerciser for a workout each week with us. Um, so you can always check their Facebook pages or their website to get access to these virtual classes. Hold this for another seven seconds. Finish up class for four, three, two, and one. Just go ahead and bend your hips, stretch at your toes here. Widen those legs, take it to that right side, and that right arm reaches up towards the sky. Give that twist to your lower back. Switch sides, take it to the left, and that left arm opens up. Reach, feel that stretch on the back of the legs. Take it to the center. Try to put your palms all the way on the floor if you can. You can always widen your legs if you need to. And let's just lunge it right to left. Start to get some mobility back in those hips. Taking your time to stretch before you rush out of here. Make sure you drink lots of water. Bring those legs in together. Again, bending at your hips here. Bring it up really slow, one vertebrae at a time. Take your right arm across, let's hit the shoulders real quick. Again, today we'll be posting a outdoor workout or challenge that you can do. We call it Sunday Sprint. Typically it's a class we offer on Sundays, but obviously virtually you can knock it out whenever you want to. Um, forecast calls for rain tomorrow. Uh, so we're going to post it here shortly if anyone wants to get that in today or save it for Monday. It's dry on Monday as well. Take it to the other tricep. And feel free to stretch out anything else you guys want to. Again, all of our announcements are typically found on our social media pages uh, or if you are on our newsletter. Um, we're sending out communication that way as well. Um, but as always, if you have any questions, just shoot us a note or DM us on Instagram and have a good rest of your weekend. Thanks, guys. See ya.